What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Techful Goodies, and today we're taking a look at a macro pad that I got from Timu. Now, if you saw my unboxing from Timu, I told you that I was planning on using this little guy right here as a quick sort of keyboard slash shortcut manager. And I also wanted to use the knob here to be able to slide around through the timeline. A lot of people had asked if it worked, if I could do a follow-up video. So this is it. And one thing I wanted to say real quick was, uh, we kind of have a sponsor for this video. What I want you to do is take a look at my desk at the top down view, and something's gonna change at some point in time during the video. And once you see it, I want you to comment down below if, if you noticed it before I actually told you what it was. But like I said, something on my desk will change to something else that we'll talk about in a little bit. So I uh, have mixed opinions on this thing, okay? Now it was, I don't know, maybe $16, something like that, but it was really my first attempt at just grabbing something to see if it worked. So it has worked. It also hasn't worked, okay? So what has worked great are the switches, right? What has not worked so good is this knob. It has actually seized up and I can't use it anymore. When I did get a chance to use it, really the only thing that I was able to do, which worked okay, was to go ahead and assign some key bindings to the knob. Turning it right would actually hit the arrow key right and turning it left would actually hit the arrow key left. And in something like DaVinci Resolve, that will pan one frame at a time way too slow. I couldn't get that to work very well. So I think the knob has been a big failure so far, obviously, because it's broken, but I did want to show you how I set up the macro pad with the buttons, because that has been actually very helpful in my editing. So let me go ahead and jump over to the little app here that you have to download. Now, this is a very specific app that you have to download that works specifically with this. So here's the software that you have to use. It's basically mini keyboard version 1.04. I don't know what version it'll be by the time you might try this out, but basically you can see uh, that it has six keys and it has K1 left, center and right. So that's basically the knob and these are all the keys. So what you do is you go ahead and hit key one, choose the key that you want and hit download. And once that downloads to the device itself, you don't need to run the software anymore. It basically stores that onto the device itself. If I go over here to something like Notepad, I can hit I, I, I. So that's basically what I set up for that key, okay? So I've already set this up for usability in uh, DaVinci Resolve. And so basically I have I, I, O, I have space, I have, I have left, I have right, and delete. Okay, so on top left here, I have space, which is play, pause, toggle in the DaVinci Resolve. I have I to this button, O to this button, and I have delete down here to this button. So what that allows me to do is hit play, pause. So I'm sort of watching the video while I'm editing. If I want to, I can hit stop, and then I can hit I for marking in, and then I can hit play again, and then I can pause and I can hit O, and that makes an in and out mark, and then I can hit delete. So that will remove that and basically make a jump cut between those two points. What I wanted to be able to do, like I said, was to use this knob to be able to scrub through. Let's say I hit pause too late and I wanted to jump back a couple frames. That's what left and right would do. Left would be one frame left and right would be one frame right. It was a little too slow and didn't really work too good. And the fact that the whole thing is seized up and I can't use it anymore, mm, kind of a fail. <laughs> one thing I also wanted to mention was when I did use the knob, if I was turning it right or turning it left, it could potentially stick in between the clicks and that would get it stuck in a repeat mode. Turn it right, get it stuck, and then it would just keep going right without me being able to do anything except for turning it again. So my workflow ended up being using the mouse to kind of scrub through to find the specific spot, hitting I, scroll over, hitting O, and then hitting delete, and I was good to go. If you've noticed what has changed on the desk, uh, this is actually a wallet sent over by Exter. They actually sent over two wallets as well as a GPS location chip. So it's just like an air tag, but it's got solar charging and it actually fits in one of the card slots, which I absolutely love. The cool thing about these is that they are multiple card holding wallets. Hit the button, all the cards pop out, allow you to sort of select exactly what you want. This is their sort of carbon fiber, very slim version. This is their leather version right here, which is nice. Also has the pop out, has a spot for your money, has a couple slots inside. I haven't figured out which one I want to use yet, but I really wanted to go ahead and thank the folks over at Exter who were able to send over this to me. 
And basically all they said was, hey, just show it in one of your videos and that's about it. And so far, they seem pretty awesome to me. Uh, one thing to note is that this carbon fiber one does have RFID. I think they both have like sort of RFID blocking to make sure no one can scan your card. This particular card that I have here, my PNC card does have RFID on it. Again, thanks to the folks at Exter. Um, but again, yeah, th this is a pretty nice little macro pad. Like I said, again, 50% fail and 50% win. I'm happy with the buttons. If you go on something like AliExpress, there's a ton of macro pads on there, a ton of a ton of these type, uh, three buttons, six buttons, um, three knobs, a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, something else and give that a try. I'll do another video about that. But since people had been asking about this, I figured I'd throw this video together for you all. So if this was helpful for you at all, I appreciate uh, like, maybe toss a subscribe. I'd love to see you back. But until then, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.